Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm so glad, so glad, so happy, so blessed, so honored to rejoice in His holy mighty name each and every day. Today is the day that you need to scream out for victory today because you are victorious today. Today is the day that you need to shout out his holy name right now today because our God is so awesome. Our God is so faithful. Our God is so merciful and he's still on the throne right now. He's still performing miracles. He's still performing wonders right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He is at work for you right now today. He is at work for you right now today. Give him the thanks right now today. Give him the praise right now today and give him the glory right now today. Our God is that awesome. Our God is that faithful. He deserved the things. He deserved the praise. He deserved the glory each and every day. No matter what your situation looks like, no matter what your circumstances look like right now today, give him the praise and give him the glory right now today. Shout out his holy name today. Today you should sing a new song with praise, a new song with him today because our God is at work for you right now today. He is sending his angels right now. He's releasing, he's releasing, he's releasing his angels right now today to cover you, to watch over you and protect you today and also to tell you something today. Yes, he is today. You're victorious today. Your blessings on time today. Get ready for victory. And I just want to say one thing. My brothers, my sisters. And if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. Today is the day that you ask Jesus right now today. Say, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. Once you say that. Right then, and there, right then and there that you are saved. Right then and there that you have started your personal relationship with Jesus. That's the only thing that Jesus expects out of every last one of us. It's a personal relationship with him. Do so today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait the next week. Don't wait the next year. Today is the day that you need to open your heart up. Today is the day that you need to open your mouth. Today is the day that you need to confess today that you want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior Christ. Amen. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Today I have a beautiful, beautiful word and message today that I want to share with all my sisters and my brothers today. Get ready to catch your blessings. That's today's message today. Get ready to catch your blessings. Your blessing has your name on. The problem has been on you for quite some time. But today is the day that you're going to catch your blessings. And we're going to be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 8. And I hope y'all guys are ready to receive this word and this message today because I know it. It's for somebody today. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough because we are catching our blessings today. I just can't thank you how you provided and you making a way for us today. I just can't thank you enough for the doors about to open today. I just can't thank you enough because we about to meet you at the intersection today. I just can't thank you enough that you sent us a light today, that you sent us help today. I just can't thank you enough because you're releasing your angels on us today. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough what you're about to do. I just can't thank you enough how you already done things. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty name. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do. That's why I glorify you the way I do. That's why I shout out your holy name the way I do. Because I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Amen and amen. Now, my sisters and brothers, we're about to get into this word. And I would love for y'all to turn your Bible to 2 Corinthians 9. And we're going to read verse 8. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. Let's begin. 
And God is able to make all grace a bond to you. So then all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work as it is written. Our God is able to make all grace a bond to you. He is able. He is able to do everything that you ever ask for. Everything that you need, he's going to, he's a bond to give it to you. And right now, Jesus is telling somebody right now today, get open. Get wide open. I'm about to throw you your blessing today. Today is the day that you're going to catch your blessings. And I know some of y'all haven't seen a blessing in quite some time. I know some of y'all even felt like that Jesus has given up on you. But he haven't. The reason why that you haven't seen your blessing yet is because the prowler has been around you. The prowler has been covering you for so long, for some for some time today. And Jesus already know how he's going to throw you the ball. He already know, but he's going to make sure, are you able to shake the prowler off? Are you able to get around the prowler? And today, I believe today, that my sisters and my brothers, y'all have shaken the prowler off. And the reason why the prowler can't stop y'all, and the reason why the prowler want to check y'all no more, because the huge blessing that Jesus about to throw to you, the prowler can't defend it. Get ready to catch your blessings. Amen? Amen. And you just got to look at it when Jesus said, catch your blessing. Jesus is the quarterback, and you are the wide receiver. Jesus is the quarterback. See, the quarterback is the captain. The quarterback already designed the play. The quarterback already know how he's going to throw you the ball so you can catch the winning touchdown. But he got to make sure are you going to be the right receiver. Are your hands ready to catch your blessings? He want to make sure that you're not going to drop the ball. He want to make sure that you ain't going to fumble because he already know how he's going to throw you the ball. Amen? Amen. He knows how he's going to throw the ball to you so you can score the winning touchdown. See, the plan already been designed. See, Jeremiah 20, 11 said, I got a plan for you. So the plan is, he already know how he's going to throw you the ball because he's the quarterback. The play was already made with you in your mother's womb. He was already the quarterback. You was already the wide receiver from the beginning. And some of y'all don't even realize that you are definitely a wide receiver. And Jesus is definitely a quarterback. But the prowler, mm, the prowler has been on you for a while. And the reason why the problem has been on for been on you for a while because you've been you have been believing in something, you have trusted something, your faith is on Jesus. That's why the problem has been on you because you took that leap of faith. So you know what? I trust Jesus. I believe on Him. I'm gonna stay on this path because I know I'm gonna meet Him right at the end of the session. And that's why the problem has been on you for a while because the problem don't want you to receive your blessing. The problem trying to distract you. The problem trying to do everything to take you off course. Amen. Amen. So the problem has been on you for a while trying to hold you back, putting roadblocks in your way, in your path, trying to distract you, all kinds of sorts of things. Because he's trying to take you off court because the problem already know the huge blessing that Jesus is going to throw you throw to you is more than enough. See, some of y'all don't realize that Jesus is going to bless you with things that things that you didn't even ask for, things that you didn't even pray for. And the problem know that. Amen. Amen. But you keep focusing. On Jesus. You keep focused on the quarterback. Praying. Now you have been able to shake the prowler off your back. The only reason that the prowler gave up is you kept your eyes and focus on Jesus. The only reason why the prowler gave up is you kept your eyes and focus on Jesus. Which is the quarterback. Your faith never wavered whatsoever. And the blessing was too big for the problem to cover. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to now. The blessing was too big. Mm -mm -mm. Let me say that again. The blessing was too big for the problem to cover. That's why he gave up. Because you weren't worrying about the roadblocks. You weren't worrying about the distraction. You weren't worrying about what he was trying to do. You was focused on the quarterback. Your eyes stayed on him. It never went off course. It never went off track. 
No matter what the proud will try to do, you still stay full, you still praise him, you still glorify him, you still honor him. And once the proud knew that and proud and the proud noticed that the blessing that God was about to throw to you, when he realized that the blessing was too big, he said, I can't cover that. That blessing too big. This guy right this guy right here and this woman right here, hands are already open. Y'all hands have been open soon Jesus said hi. Your hands is already open. And once the proud knows that the proud said, you know what? My son and this daughter right here. They want this blessing right here. I can't cover them no more. I can't cover them no more. Because no matter what I try to do, they ignore me. No matter what I try to do, they did not waver. Whatever I try to do, they not stop. Whatever I try to do, they never gave up. Whatever I try to do, they kept praising Jesus. They kept their eyes and focus on the quarterback. And right now, the blessing that Jesus is throwing you right now is way too big for the prowler. And the prowler said, I cannot cover that. So send me another defender right now. And another defender said the same thing. He kept his eyes and focus on Jesus. And the prowler said the same thing. I cannot win. And Jesus already know that you can't win. Because right now, he is throwing you the winning touchdown. Right now he is throwing you your blessing right now get ready and catch your blessing for the winning touchdown right now today my brothers my sisters get ready get ready victory it's already yours today it's already claimed today receive it just think about it you had shake you had put a a, a, a powerful move on a problem so bad the process how did they do that how did they do that? And the reason why you was able to put that move on that prowler, the only way that you was able to put that kind of move on that prowler, because you kept your eyes focused on the quarterback. Your faith stayed on the quarterback. Your trust stayed on the quarterback. And who's the quarterback? Jesus. Once the prowler know that, the prowler said, wow, I know this is a touchdown. This is a touchdown right here. I know they're going to catch the ball. I know they're going to catch it. It wasn't no if and but about it. The prowler already knew that the ball was going in your hand. He already knew it was going to touch down. And he noticed that the blessing was too big. He can't cover something that big. He can't cover nothing that big. That's why you was able to catch your blessing today. Get ready, my brothers. Get ready, my sisters. Today is the day you're going to catch your blessing. I know how busy the prowler been on you. I know how hard and long the prowler has been on you. But Jesus said, don't worry about it. I already designed the play for you. The plan was already made when using your mother's womb. Go back to Jeremiah 29 11. It tell you, I have a perfect plan for you. It tell you that. It tells you that. So the plan was already made. Once you took that leap of faith and said, Jesus, I trust you. I believe in you. I'm going out to mine. I'm going out this winning touchdown. Right then and there, the problems are already going to defend you. Right then and there, the prophets are always going to try to do all kinds of things to throw you off track, to throw you off course. But you didn't waver that one time. Your eyes, your focus, and your trust stayed on the quarterback. Once the prophet noticed that, and you put that one move on that prowler, the prophet said, wow, wow, this woman, this man really want this blessing. And when he noticed that blessing was so big, he said, there's no way I can cover that. He said, there's no way I can throw a roadblock in there. There's no way I can intercept it because the blessing was too big. The prowler can't catch no blessing like that. He can't even cover a blessing like that. In the meantime, the prowler noticed that he can't even cover you. He thought he could, but he couldn't. Your faith. It was your faith, my sisters. It was your faith, my brothers. That's another reason why the prowler gave up. It was your commitment. It was your dedication. It was your lifetime contract that you had for Jesus. That's another reason why the prowler gave up. Glory. Hallelujah. Get ready and catch your blessing today. It's yours. God is able and willing and faithful. And he's going to do it. And he's going to do more than what we ask for. I believe that and I declare that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But I know that this word and I know that this message today it's clearly for someone today. Get ready to catch your blessing. Amen. Amen. And if this word, this message, and this video is for you today, let's give him thanks right now. Let's give him the praise right now. And let's give him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Get ready to receive and catch your blessing until you can score the winning touchdown. Victory, victory, victory is yours today in Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen and amen. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life. 
to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And get ready to catch your blessing. It's already yours. God is able and he is willing. He is faithful. He is merciful. And he's going to do it today. You have already shaken off the prowler. Get ready to receive your victory dance right now today. In Jesus' holy name, it's Minister LT. Y'all stay blessed and always keep Jesus first place. Amen.